Our next presenter is Daniel Herman, a PhD student under the supervision of Professor Subhasis Khushal in Department of Civil Engineering. And she would be presenting on Precision Nanofertilization, a green solution to climate change and food insecurity. A 60% increase in food production is needed by the year 2050 to avoid mass starvation due to growing world population and increasing pressure on our resources. However, we're currently going in the opposite direction of what we need for, uh, to feed the world. Currently, agricultural, pro agricultural productivity is decreasing due to inefficient use of our fertilizers, soil degradation, and it's expected that things will only get worse with climate change. In order to meet future uh, world food demands, we need to change the way that we farm, primarily the way that we use fertilizers. Right now, our fertilizers are very inefficient in that we use huge amounts applied to the soil, and this is necessary because only less than 25% is actually uptaken by plants. The rest of this fertilizer ends up polluting the environment. It sits in the soil where it can lead to greenhouse gas emissions, and it can pollute groundwater and surface water sources. So how can we get around some of these problems? One way is to apply fertilizer to the leaves instead of the ground, which can help alleviate this pollution because much less fertilizer is needed due to higher uptake rates when we apply fertilizer to the leaves. And this can greatly reduce emissions because there is less fertilizer sitting in the environment. However, we can't just take our current fertilizers and put them directly on leaves because they can damage the sensitive leaves of plants. So what my lab works on is using nanocapsules to safely encapsulate fertilizer materials so that they can be applied to a leaf and then uptaken to travel throughout the plant and distribute to the rest of the plant where they can safely release the nutrients inside the capsules. If we take a look closer on what happens in the leaf, we apply these capsules to the leaf and they need to circulate through the rest of the plant and they do this by getting into the phloem, which is essentially the veins of a plant. And it circulates nutrients through a plant the way our blood circulates nutrients in our body. And what I'm trying to do is design particles that will not release their fertilizer inside of the capsules until they're inside the phloem because this can prevent damage to other more sensitive tissues in the plant and ensure the highest rates of uptake and translocation of the nutrients to get them where they need to be. So we know from our current work that once you apply particles to the leaves of a plant, it takes five days for them to reach the phloem. So I'm designing particles that we can apply on day one, and by day five, that is when we will have the fertilizer diffuse out of the particle. Once these particles are already in the phloem, safely away from any outer leaf surfaces that they can damage, they can then release their contents and circulate throughout the rest of the plant. By doing, by doing this, we can improve fertilizer efficiency greatly and help uh, increase the amount of food that we can produce without causing further damage to the environment and further pollution. Thank you.